we often find ourselves trapped in a never-ending loop of thoughts, worries, and anxieties. It drains our energy, prevents us from living in the present moment, and robs us of our joy. But fear not. Buddhism offers timeless wisdom to help us break free from this mental prison. The story we are about to share holds the key to unlocking a peaceful mind and proven ways to stop overthinking. Once upon a time, in a remote village nestled in the mountains, where a young man named Ravi seeks guidance from the wise Buddhist monk, Master Keshava. Ravi explains that his mind is constantly overwhelmed by thoughts, making it difficult for him to find peace and clarity. Master Keshava, with a gentle smile, shares a parable that has been passed down through generations. In a nearby village, there was a farmer who had a magnificent horse. People marveled at its strength and beauty. One day, the horse escaped from the farmer's stable and ran away into the wilderness. The villagers rushed to console the farmer, expressing their sympathies for his loss. But the wise farmer simply replied, Is it a loss? Who knows what is good or bad? The next day, to everyone's surprise, the horse returned with a herd of wild horses. Now the farmer had a collection of strong and valuable horses, which brought great wealth to his family. Again, the villagers gathered, this time to congratulate the farmer. But the farmer, calm and composed, said, Is it a gain? Who knows what is good or bad? The story continues with a twist. The farmer's son, while trying to tame one of the wild horses, fell and broke his leg. The villagers rushed to express their condolences, remarking how unlucky the family had become. Yet the farmer, undisturbed, replied, Is it misfortune? Who knows what is good or bad? Several weeks later, a war broke out and the king's army forcefully recruited young men from all the villages, but the farmer's son with a broken leg was spared. The villagers witnessing the fate of their own son were envious of the farmer's good fortune. Yet the farmer, with wisdom in his eyes, stated once again, Is it a good fortune? Who knows what is good or bad? Master Keshwa concluded the tale, leaving Ravi with a profound realization. Life is an interconnected web of events, and what we label as good or bad is merely a limited perspective. Overthinking traps us in judgment and expectations, preventing us from accepting the present moment as it is. It reminds us that circumstances are constantly changing, and what may seem like a setback or challenge can turn into a blessing in disguise. The farmer chose not to overthink or attach himself to the outcome, cultivating a mindset of acceptance and non-attachment. In our own lives, overthinking often arises from our own attachment to specific outcomes, our fears of the unknown or our relentless desire for control. We become trapped in a cycle of analyzing every possible outcome, fearing failure and doubting ourselves. But just like the farmer, we can learn to let them go and embrace the uncertainty of life. Now let's explore some practical steps inspired by this Buddhist story that can help us break free from the grip of overthinking. Number 1. Cultivate Mindfulness By practicing mindfulness, we can observe our thoughts without judgment and let them pass by without getting entangled in the web. Number 2. Embrace Impermanence Recognize that everything in life is impermanent, including our thoughts and emotions. By accepting this truth, we can let go of the need to control every aspect of our lives. Number 3. Practice Gratitude Shift your focus towards gratitude from the present moment and the abundance in your life. This helps to quit the mind and bring a sense of contentment. Number 4. Engage in Self-Care Prioritize self-care activities that brings you joy and relaxation. Engaging in hobbies, spending time in nature, or practicing yoga and meditation can help calm the mind and reduce overthinking. Thank you for joining us today and exploring this profound Buddhist tale. We hope it resonates with you and help you find the peace and clarity you seek. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video to spread the wisdom of letting go.